What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to look at The Party Never Ends and what I think would make the perfect rollout for this album. I've done stuff like this in the past before, but for this video we're going to look at specific dates and why these would be perfect for the album. Jumping right into this, we're going to start by looking at the streams real quick that we've been doing in the last few videos for In My Head and Bye Bye. Well, you can see Bye Bye over 35 mil and In My Head is over 25 mil. It's on its way to 30 both songs are still within juice's top three most stream songs or most popular songs on spotify right now and in my head is most likely on the upcoming album and i have to say so far it looks like it's been a successful release this is honestly pretty good almost 30 million streams on a solo juice song this is what happens when grade a really puts time into dropping at least some sort of promo even if it was the rush hour theme which i personally thought was kind of cool but getting back Back on topic for what the perfect rollout would be if you guys know pete said that something will release on december 2nd is this true only time's gonna tell with that but it just makes sense that something does drop that date because that's obviously on a friday for one for two that's on juice's birthday whether it's biscotti or something else right now biscotti is just one of the most tea snippets from grade a in the label and the songs produced by max lord so i kind of think that just makes the most sense to release but that could always change it could be something else whatever the song might be if we already have in my head which is the lead single and we get the second single on juice's birthday december 2nd that would leave us with two singles to the album keep in mind that they could even drop the day after juice world day because then the song would technically drop at juice world day i believe i just think it makes more sense to do it on the second because that's literally a friday and it's juice's b-day so say we have in my head as the lead single and then we get biscotti or some other song on december 2nd that would leave it so the album could honestly drop on december 30th which if the album is the party never ends that just makes perfect sense to drop the album the day before new year's eve and then we have the party never ends for new year's eve that sounds almost like it's just meant to be the fridays in december fell on really good dates this year to hopefully get some sort of juice music now i'm not saying that the party never ends or whatever the album is is gonna drop this year this is obviously just what my thoughts are and why this would be the best way to do it because then we would end up getting a lead single on juice's birthday which is a friday that just makes perfect sense and then we get the album the day before new year's which is a party album quote unquote and that's what everyone's going to be doing on new year's eve is having some sort of party it would just be perfect to have this album to go into the new year with and if you drop it this late in december the chance of christmas music out streaming the album to the point where it wouldn't be able to go number one is a little more unlikely than what it was last year with fighting demons when they dropped it on like december 10th or whenever they did right in the middle of the month that's the worst time to drop in december if you're gonna drop one of the first or last fridays then at least you have a week prior before the christmas music is going to be getting streamed at its max and i honestly think that's really the only issue with an album not dropping in december anymore it's just for the fact that it 100 stunted fighting demon sales yes you could probably say that the album missed out on some streams because it was just poorly marketed it was just kind of thrown together we just heard about the album kind of just got the artwork the release date the doc announcement it all just kind of happened randomly so that definitely played a part in fighting demons only going number two but so did the chris Christmas music it was literally christmas songs that were out streaming juices songs in december and that's what led him to not being able to go number one with this being said for actual album news it's been a little dry lately as we get information i'm obviously going to keep you guys updated you already know this if you're new here make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one